leave, then I will drop in on the Hebrews and give them some trouble. Mm, that's the way trouble is, it drops in on you. <laughs> you don't expect just out of the sky some trouble just drops. You say, well, why is this happening to me? <laughs> that's your problem. <laughs> they were right outside of town, and the voice in the middle of the night said, Halt, who goes there? That is what the boy said. It was a little Hebrew boy named Daniel. King Ed said, what is your name? The Hebrew boy said, sir, my name is Daniel. So he told him, my name is Daniel. Daniel was a good boy. And his mother had told him, whenever you're speaking to your elders, say, sir. That's why he said, he said, sir, my name is Daniel. But the king didn't like good boys. So he said, tie him up, and when we get back, I'm going to throw him to the lion. <laughs> then the king and his army marched into town and went wild. They shot up the place. They broke out all the windows. They tore out all the street lights. They walked all over people's gardens and they scared the children. Mm. <laughs> Can I get a shame, shame, shame? Shame, shame, shame. When he got back home, the first thing Nebuchadnezzar did was count his loot. He had captured four Hebrew boys Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and a big Negro. 